So I used to think that I could do little good things to get right with him. What do I mean? Well, one time we were preparing for a mission trip called Mission Fuge. And my youth group went over to the Paul Brown Stadium with a bunch of other youth groups in Northern Kentucky. And our goal was after a game to clean the stands, okay? So we go over there, we're cleaning the stands. And I remember I would try to get the biggest cup napkin pile as possible to flex a little bit to all the cute girls in the youth group. Like, wow, Andy's killing it, right? Well, I remember though, is I found myself in the midst of doing a good act, my motives were wrong. My motives were wrong. And so I want, I want us to remember, guys, that we can do good things, but let's just make sure our hearts and our motives are right. Let's just not do things with a hidden agenda, okay? a selfish agenda. And I've been guilty of this. I just shared one story from when I was youth, but I could share so many more. But y'all are like, man, you got us with that wordplay. Now we're depressed. But listen, <laughs> we talked about sin and death. Listen, just because we're sinners and just because we need a Savior does not mean we need to have an Eeyore mentality. What does that mean? Well, I'll tell you what that means because I've done it and I've heard it myself. You got some Christians who's like, I guess I should go to church. It's like, hey, have you read your Bible recently? If I must. It's like, hey, how's, how's your walk with the Lord? I messed up again. I feel like poo. Like, we don't need to have, like, we've been redeemed. And so, right away, my second takeaway to you guys is, as Paul writes, rejoice always. We have been redeemed. It is good to be reminded that we have been redeemed. Yes, we will struggle. Yes, we will go through pain. And I get into that throughout the next couple days. But we have been redeemed. That's the greatest news. So we take on a lot. We got to remember, we're all right in God's sight.